everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be diving into something that has become so popular in the last few months, and that is the TikTok shop feature. Now I know what you're probably wondering, Mia, how can you give us the full scoop and shop on the TikTok shop when you are in Canada and it is not yet available in Canada? Well, TikTok gave me no choice but to be devious because if there's one thing I must do, it is review things that you guys are curious about one way or another. So everyone say a huge thank you to my friend, Megan. She participated in the painstaking, but also very fun task of walking me through the TikTok shop feature and letting me shop through Zoom via her TikTok account, which is based in America. Okay, let's see what we got. TikTok shop is kind of a fever dream, if I'm being honest. There's pop-ups, there's things for super, super affordable. I've seen some people compare the TikTok shop feature to just a new wave of fast fashion. And spoiler alert, I tend to agree. Did you see that striped sweater? I just wanna see like, where's this from? I think if I hit like this shop at the bottom, it will bring me to this person's shop. Okay, you Hanya. Cause also that's $6, did you see that? Look how thick it's supposed to be, like there's no way. Oh, that's we're gonna figure that. out if that's this. Oh, yeah. Being slapped in the face by trendy music. Things that you think are not an ad, but are an ad. Because one thing with the TikTok shop feature is it has a very good commission program for creators, which is totally fine. And it's actually a good thing, but used in the wrong way, it can be very bad. For example, if the app isn't telling you that the creator is making commission, or if the creator is lying and they don't actually like the product, they just want to make the commission sales. Or three, if the creator is straight up being paid to talk about that product and then also gaining commission, but not disclosing that it's a part Partnership. I've never seen that before, like saying eligible for commission. So it's just letting the buyer know she is. Yeah. Working. But through all my shopping, I found that there was kind of three ways to shop on the TikTok shop feature. There's the classic kind of search and discovery. That's kind of the most satisfying one that offers the most options. But the second way is by scrolling through your For You page or through someone's page and they have personally linked the product. So when you click it, it takes you to the shop feature. And then the third way and the way that I personally dislike the most. When you click on something and it takes you to a live video. Did you hurt yourself? Did you hurt yourself? Okay. I'm gonna swap out. Okay, let's leave. So I would say these are the three ways to shop on the TikTok shop feature. There's probably many other ones, but these were the three I was finding. A few things that we noticed while shopping is there are a lot of brands that I recognize, like a Dolls Kill or PacSun. Oh, this is Dolls Kill. You know what? This would be really interesting if I bought these because I bought the fake one of these by accident. And then a lot of brands that I've never heard of before. And a lot of times the pieces from brands I'd never heard of before were also the pieces that were the most affordable. And I'm also curious to know if these items are drop shipped. So I'm gonna be looking to see if the items are tagged or if there's just no labels on them. The goal of this entire video is to wear these pieces for a week and put them truly to the test. So we have quite a few dresses, quite a few shirts, quite a few pants, quite a few shoes, jackets, and then this PJ thing that just kept popping in. We should be thinking of USA with house wherever you are. Okay, of USA with house in California, New York, Texas, Brooklyn, you know, Alaska, Seattle, you wherever you are. You oh my God. So with all of these items, the total came out to $466.97 US. Also, you may be curious to know that it was actually free shipping, which is pretty crazy because we bought from so many different retailers. So I cannot wait for this to arrive here. Another huge round of applause for Megan for making this video possible. I'm so thankful because I've wanted to do videos about the TikTok shop feature for so long, but I haven't been able to because I'm a Canadian prize and Canadian. So this is awesome. Oh my gosh. So normally these would deliver like individually, but Megan put them all in here for me. So I guess I'll just grab the first one. Let's see, I have no idea which one this is. Oh my gosh, holy, oh. Apparently some of them will ship together actually after all. Okay. <laughs> Look at this angle. First, let's see. Okay, no, there's no label on this sweater. Doesn't smell weird. That looks good. Okay, I actually really like this one now that I have it on. I would definitely compare it to like a Shein quality. The leggings that we just had to have. I'm so curious to see what the labels say on these. Small, 92% poly made, 8% elastane, machine wash, no label again. You know, these actually feel decent quality. If I was gonna compare them to a feeling, they kind of feel like Gymshark. You know, for someone who doesn't enjoy these butts, 
butt leggings. I sure find myself in the presence of these butt leggings a lot. Here's my butt in the butt leggings. I don't care for the butt ruche, but if you are into that, I know some people are super into it, then these might be for you. This one says it's from a brand called Yozy. Oh, and this is that black skirt. I used to wear black maxi skirts all the time. They're so comfortable and just so easy to wear. This material is really nice and it honestly feels decent quality. Okay, what do we got? Oh gosh, this might be the first one, you guys. Again, no brand on here. These are those really chunky cargo pant look. I don't know how to say it. These just don't feel great quality. The fabric is super thin and quite scratchy. Granted, they weren't super expensive. These are just not a quality piece, unfortunately. All right, these might be my biggest disappointment of maybe all the pieces. I just think the product photo for these looked so cool and nice and like a thick, nice cargo pant. But in actuality, these are really thin. I am very afraid with this button. This button is hanging on by a thread. And where the pockets are attached, it's kind of itchy. This is my saving grace if I was cold. It's this checkered flannel. It's surprisingly quite soft. Again, no label. Okay, this is actually a cute look that I'm wearing right now. It's not my personal style. I don't really wear these long cardigans, but this one had been so popular, so I had to test it out. Again, I would say probably Shein quality. Okay, this next one is that two-piece set. It's 100% polyester. It feels okay. I'm a little worried just because it's a little sheer when I hold it up to the light. I'm sweating. I'm immediately sweating. Am I not wearing deodorant? Is that my problem? I realized that this was super affordable, but if I'm being completely honest, I wouldn't even pay the super affordable price for it. It's okay and it fits okay. I just have zero faith in this not splitting at the butt. I'm just worried about it. They're just so thin. And this was one of the super high selling pieces. And I think it's because the photo is super flattering. The price is super affordable, but I'm not super impressed with what I got. I think this is an athletic set. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the leggings, thumb hole realness. Oh my gosh, that's like such a giant thumb hole. Wow. I like the green. Look at me in my workout piece. It might just be because it's seamless and it has a very similar feel, but yeah, this is, this is decent. Sorry for the big butt grab there. I just noticed that there's like detail under the butt, but yeah, this is nice. Okay, these shoes. I respect the hustle of the person who was selling these, but I truly did not have high hopes. They're like a fabric shoe. And honestly, the sole is decently comfortable. I do have to wear special runners because I have bad heels. And if you can twist your shoe like this, it means they don't have amazing support. So they're not like the best support by any means. Like I can fold this shoe in half. I'm pretty picky about shoes. I'll tell you guys, honestly, I have a few foot problems. So I like to have comfortable shoes. Let's see my SpongeBob shoes. Okay, as far as ankle support is concerned, if you're genuinely curious, these offer Zero. Zero ankle support. You're gonna roll your ankles, these are not gonna help you. But as far as squishy sole goes, for standing for a long time, shockingly quite comfortable squishy sole. Honestly, not the most comfortable, but for the price, these are more comfortable than I thought. Okay, we have a brand name, Marthia. If you've ever bought cheap leggings and they feel like cheap leggings, this is kind of what this dress feels like. The overall silhouette is nice, but the fabric is throwing me off. Alrighty, here we go. I'd be lying to say that I didn't think that this was pretty flattering and pretty cute on. It's also very long. If you're seeing my feet, it goes all the way to the floor, which is nice. I'm gonna stick with my thoughts on the quality. It's quite thin and there is a lot of concern about it being see-through. I wouldn't stand in like direct sunlight by any means, but this is actually quite elegant and quite pretty. And it's very stretchy, like look. Very stretchy. Okay, this was an item that I saw being sold so frequently, I had to see, and it is nice and soft. It's got the big pouches in the front. I just really wanted to buy from one of these because I thought the selling tactic was very interesting. Uh, only uh, within the States, like, you know, Alaska, California, New York, you know, only the big, sorry. 
Okay. This was being sold hard. It's got two pockets in the front. It's comfy as can be. It's got cute little dogs on it. I think they're little corgis. I like the pink. This looks good. Then we've got this sequin dress. Again, absolutely labelless. Underneath, it's actually velvet, which makes it look a little more luxurious. Spoiler alert, I probably won't find somewhere to wear this specific dress, but I felt like, you know what? I have reviewed hundreds of prom dresses. I need to see a prom dress from the TikTok shop feature. It's definitely fun. I don't know what this brand is, but I almost feel like I might need to review more dresses from them and do a little deep dive into how they operate. Let me know if you want that. Okay, I also got a glam dress in blue. Honestly, not super high quality item, but we'll see. Look at me in my fun sequin dress. I don't even want to turn around because I know you guys are gonna laugh, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, I'm trapped in it. Okay, we have Poster Girl. Yes, this is the doll skill. Okay, I actually bought a knockoff of these without knowing it. These are not the most comfortable shoe on planet Earth. Shocker. I gotta say, the quality of these ones is not worlds better than the people on Etsy that I bought from. Don't you love wearing heels like this with jeans? Isn't it just a lurk? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm disappointed. I just went to turn this and it broke off. And now that I'm feeling it, it is really, it almost feels very like arts and crafts. Sorry, these are not worth the money and these were not cheap. Okay, let's see. I mean, <laughs> I can't help but kind of like them. Lots of the glitter is falling off. We've already lost a rogue rhinestone. I mean, it's just not great, you guys. These picture super well. So if you've ever seen these and been like, oh, I'm gonna save up for them. I honestly suggest not. I don't think they're that great. I mean, they look beautiful, but I honestly think they're destined to fall apart. All right, what is this one? Here we have Cider. If you guys don't already know, I did a full review of Cider unsponsored on my channel. So if you've ever been curious about Cider, cause I know I see your comments once in a while, but I think I just posted that Cider video before Cider really took off, but okay. Here are these pans. Yeah, so they are labeled. As you can see on here, it says cider. Nice and stretchy. They're very flowy pants. They hug the boot a little. As you can see, it's finding its way into my butt crack. They're super comfortable. And I do love that they also have pockets. I don't think they're as amazing and revolutionary as the people in the videos were making it seem, but they're nice. So this is like the top shawl piece and then the dress. This is pretty soft. Oh my gosh. See, I am a sucker for a soft knit. Soft knit is like the key to my heart and this is kind of doing it. Here it is without the shawl. I really like the detail they did around the bust, by the way, because it's all a straight stitch like this, but then around the bust, it goes from out to in, which I just feel like is a nice detail. I also really like the slit. It looks good. You know, when you can find a comfortable dress that also looks good, that's kind of a slam dunk. Another doll's kill. This is kind of like a dress that is not my usual style. It's a little vampy. Alrighty, the doll's kill dress is on. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing how short it is in the front. A gust of wind would sure Surely, surely show it off. Yeah, look, you can kind of see under my skirt. It's just, it's not long enough. Maybe that's on purpose. I'm not sure. Okay, the Paxson jeans. This is actually the item that took the longest. So I got these in 25. Here they are. Yeah, I really like the wash and I like the fit. They're a straight leg and they fit around my waist perfectly, but they're not too tight that it's uncomfortable. So these are Great. Here's another bag. It looked like this one. This bag was like the black and white and red and it had a bunch of the TikTok shop stuff. And then this one feels kind of like it has multiple pieces too. So maybe this is like the bag of the TikTok shop. I just like don't know because it has no branding on it. Oh yeah, multiple pieces again. Oh yeah, the super sale long sleeve tee. This is actually a good test because I'm wearing a purple bra underneath. And as you can see, you can see my bra. So you definitely have to wear whatever your nude color of bra is. Otherwise people will know that you're wearing a bra underneath. <gasps> 
I got that same shirt in gray. Okay, on the ad, I feel like this was gonna be sort of a Skims moment. It's definitely different than Skims. I've worn Skims before and this is different. It might look like it, but it doesn't really feel like it. So it depends what you're looking for. Okay, here we have a orangey knit. Top. It's like a half over sweater, which I think that this is decently usable if you're someone who runs hot and cold at the same time. It has a nice puff sleeve, really nice knit. I also am happy to see when something isn't crocheted and it is in fact knit. This is really cute. I love the puffy sleeve and it does provide a decent bit of warmth if you're someone who gets hot and then cold and then hot and then cold. I do like it too because if I'm sweating, I can just like air it out, you know? I actually really like this. This is a quality piece. I mean, I can't say absolutely a word about any of the ethics of any of these brands. Okay, this is like more pink than I thought it was gonna be. It's a shawl, little shruggy. Shawl alert. This is the one problem about holding my microphone, trying to get a shawl on. Okay, I think that's on properly. The color is so bright. Was I just not looking at the ad or was it supposed to be this bright? And also it's just kind of permanently falling off of me. Alrighty, now this, again, no label. The shirt is a little bit see-through. I'm not super shocked, honestly, when I saw this, I thought it would be see-through, but I just had to try the deep purple bra underneath just to see, and yeah, it's a little bit see-through. Other than that though, it fits really well. It's actually so cute. I really like the neckline detail and this little flower. It looks so much like the product photo, which I know shouldn't be a huge ask, but it's a little shocking when it is. So this is really cute. We're reaching the end. We have Halara. I've reviewed Halara in depth as well. The waffle print on here is quite nice. I can see why people like these wide leg trousers because they seem quite comfortable. These are quite nice. They're very comfortable. I love a wide leg pant so much. I think they're very much the type of pant that you could dress up and be businessy, but also dress down just like a little nice top and be very casual. Any pant that is both cute and comfortable gets a check from me. Okay, the final items. These are kind of an unlikely pair to be packed together. I'm sort of weirded out. This was another one that was sold by live stream. Sometimes you'll just click on something and then all of a sudden you're in a live stream being sold a bunch of items. Yeah, you know what? This is not bad. And I actually feel like it will provide some warmth coming from a Canadian. I mean, come on, that's pretty darn good. I like the length, I like the color. Oh my gosh, and I'm getting warm. Now this teddy bear sweatshirt. Here is my ish. Okay, so it is a blank by Gildan, which Gildan's actually a decent brand. They're wrap certified in Wecotex. So the blank is not bad. My issue is Polo Bear by Ralph Lauren. And then there's the Ralph Lauren signature. I'm pretty sure that Ralph Lauren isn't printing their designs on Gildan blanks. I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty sure no. So I don't feel like this is okay. I don't think you can pretend to be a brand or like plaster the brand name on things that you're selling. I think that TikTok shop makes it really easy to sell knockoffs, which isn't very good. For instance, like if you bought this and you thought you were really buying like Ralph Lauren, it would be disappointing when it isn't. Okay, so we have our initial thoughts to the pieces, but now I'm gonna put them to the real test by wearing them for an entire week. I'm not gonna wear every single piece. Some of them I was just curious to review for you guys. Like for instance, that evening gown, I probably won't find somewhere to wear it, but we're gonna test these out and see how the quality is. I've done videos like this before. I think we did one five years ago with Wish clothes and the pants genuinely, genuinely ripped. So we'll see if that happens with this stuff. Let's do this. Oh, hey. Oh, what, these? Are you wondering why I have frozen peas on my head? I got a concussion yesterday. <laughs> and I shouldn't be looking at a screen right now, but I literally need to get this video done because I refuse to miss an upload day. So I was trying to do some research on some of these brands that are being sold on TikTok shop and trying to find any sort of transparency about the production is nearly impossible to be honest. It's just really hard information to find. And I really wanted to do this review because I've seen how many units have been 
sold on TikTok shop. It'll literally say under it, 70,000 units of this have been sold, which is so crazy. So I really wanted to give you guys the full scoop on if it's expectation versus reality, but I honestly can't say on the ethics. So depending on what your checklist is for when you're shopping, that one I can't say. I can assume but I really don't know. I'm not gonna ramble on because my head feels like it's gonna explode and I really need to get this video done. Okay, we've got, oh my goodness, I'm so happy to film this because I have this sticker on my pants that I wouldn't have noticed. You know, it's not very often that I wear brands for a week and I'm not uncomfortable throughout, but I'm actually very comfortable in this outfit. And then I have these pants, which, oh my goodness, these pants are perfect. Here's my outfit. And I'm gonna have an amazing time today. I'll give you a hint. So this day we decided we were going to visit Disneyland because when I'm in California for any length of time, I just get the hankering to check out Disney. The first ride we tackled to my mom's dismay was the Tower of Terror, or excuse me, Guardians of the Galaxy. I will forever call it the Tower of Terror though. You can probably tell by my mom's face, but she hates this ride. But then again, here's her face on the Cars ride. So maybe just all rides scare her. A very different expression, but here's my face, eating a mac and cheese cone from the Cozy Cone. I love Cars Land. Disney had such amazing food, but the one food I don't understand and my mom loves is the giant turkey leg. And then I found this shirt, which I forgot Disney bought the Muppets. I relate to Kermit in my soul. So this one took priority over the teddy bear. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Also, I've never worn hair extensions in my life but I got some because I like my short hair, but I also would like to be able to style it a few different ways. Look <laughs> at the first attempt. is what I'm wearing today. I feel so much more dressed up than I normally am. Kind of feeling very business casual. I'm also out of breath because of that slide I just did, which is embarrassing. So we have this pink shirt and then we have the Hilaire pants, which these are what is making this look businessy. So I don't know where we're gonna end up today. I could get away with lots of different things. It could be casual, it could be businessy, but here it is. I don't normally dress this nice. Honestly, I usually just wear sweatpants sets. So this felt like I could go to a board meeting at some law firm. These Hilaire pants are really nice in that way where you can kind of class them up or dress them down. I do like them and they're very comfortable. This day I had the hankering for ramen. We found this amazing ramen and it was like a mother daughter duo running the whole thing. They were being the waitresses and also cooking in the back. And I was so impressed. I did spill all the ramen down the front of the shirt. What's your favorite part of it? I'm getting it all over my shirt. <laughs> Like I said, it was raining this day, which I guess California doesn't get rain that often, but for a big portion of our trip, it was raining. It is definitely pouring, but honestly, guys, I take this rain over minus 30 and snowing, so I'm not complaining. But we decided to go to an outlet mall because we thought we'd be inside, but I kind of forgot that in America, a lot of the malls are outside, so it was like half inside, half outside. But we shopping, got a vest, new vest alert. You guys, I'm in the washroom right now at this mall. You need to see. This shirt, it's nice, it's soft, the material feels good, but I can't help but wonder how it was so affordable. You know, because somewhere in that price, there's a profit margin, so the cost of good is even lower. But if you do not care about that, color's nice, and that is that. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> okay, I think I know what I'm gonna wear today. I have a hair appointment, so that's exciting. When I first tried this two-piece set on, I was kind of underwhelmed with how thin it was. In the interest of warmth, I'm gonna put this jacket on top. I think it's gonna be a cute outfit. It's very different than how I would normally dress, but you know what? How I normally dress has completely went out the window because look what I'm wearing right now. This is how I normally dress. I am going to a hair appointment. I haven't got my hair done since Brad did it. It's grown a fair bit and um, don't yell at me, Brad, but I might be getting some of the blonde put back in. <gasps> Listen, I really liked what Brad did and I liked it for a change, but I don't know, something about having the blonde makes me feel more like myself. Even when I got my color analysis, Julia told me point blank that my hair should be darker rather than lighter. But I don't know, at a certain point you just have to do what you like and what you feel most comfortable with. And I feel like now I've tried the darker and I think I just prefer the lighter on myself. It just makes me feel more like myself. But if there's one thing I know for sure, I'll be wearing 
my TikTok shop outfit. In case you forgot what this looks like. Honestly, from a distance, it's cute. I will say up close, it's collecting a lot of dust, which is kind of one of my pet peeves with fabrics. Okay, but putting on the full look. <laughs> yeah, this will definitely do. I can do this. I can dress nicely in public and not feel uncomfortable. I can do this. This day was a little treat yourself day. I was getting my hair done and also my nails, which my nails lasted so long, but just yesterday, one of them popped off. And unfortunately, I actually ended up getting a toenail infection when I got my pedicure and I had to go into a walk-in clinic and get antibiotics. And I just finished the round of antibiotics and my toe still looks pretty messed up. So I don't know, I might be swearing off pedicures for a minute. Anyway, one big part of going to get my hair done is my hair grows way faster in the front. I don't know if this is everyone's hair, but I get an automatic Karen cut by accident because the front grows so fast and then it's so short in the back, it just automatically does that. So I had to level that one out. I kind of had a love-hate relationship with this outfit because the two-piece set was like a big bestseller on TikTok and I liked it, but I didn't feel like it was super quality, which I know what you're saying. With this price, how could I expect quality? But I still kind of have a certain level that I expect from my clothes because this felt so thin. If I sat down on anything even slightly sharp, I feel like it would rip open. But as an allergy person, little fluffs fly off of it and it was really aggravating my nose. So that's kind of a unique problem for me and maybe some of you who experience that, but this sheds. So, the red dress. This day was so beautiful. I honestly can't believe this was like someone's January that they get to live in experience because it was so magical. We went to a beach, it was in Laguna Beach and it was so beautiful. We ended up packing a picnic because I was like, okay, I have to wear my red dress. So let's make a moment out of it and have a little picnic. Yeah, it was just so nice. Like I literally was eating a picnic and I saw dolphins. Oh my gosh, Stuart, what a good find. It's so warm out, but the dress is actually nice. It's like not too hot. Originally when I got it, I was like, oh, it's gonna be perfect for the Canadian winter because it's knit and it comes with a shawl. But here I am in the heat. I can't believe people live with this as their winter. Must be nice. But this dress was beautiful. It's one of those dresses that looks really nice, but it's also very comfortable. And this was one that was like a lot of sponsored posts. So I think Cider is spending on TikTok, but the dress is nice. So I'm happy to report that. Today, I would like to wear the athletic two-piece set. So we're gonna go play pickleball because where we're staying, there's a pickleball court really close. Usually when I'm playing a sport, I'll just put leggings with like a baggy t-shirt on. So for some reason, and maybe some of you can relate, anytime I look put together, I feel uncomfortable. I just feel a little bit too put together. I don't feel like myself and I feel nervous, but I'm gonna wear it for the sake of the video to test it out. You might think pickleball is just like this. Not the way I play pickleball. I'll be jumping, I'll be diving. So these will be put to the test. Okay, I can't lie, it is cute. I like the color. It's a signature Mia green. I've been wearing pretty thick leggings, so these feel a little bit thin in comparison, but yeah, it's nice. I just feel too put together, you guys. I feel like I'm wearing a onesie. Okay, anyways, I'm leaving. And see, some people say pickleball is not a workout. I dare you to play pickleball with me and my dad. For workout clothes, the two things I really look for is it to be comfortable and you can move in it. And also, do the leggings cause issue. And I am very pleased to report that these leggings rode down. I didn't find myself pulling them down. I had to pull them up because they were like pulling their way down. Okay, mini review. Here's the thing actually, it's really nice and it's decently warm. The only thing is they kind of work their way down. I'd rather that than they ride up to be honest. So feeling good, loving pickle. But yeah, let me just show off some of my awesome pickleball skills. <laughs> Good game. 
here is my outfit. I'm actually pretty pleased with this. It's quite comfortable. Any loose pant is a friend of mine. And then I did kind of the reverse of a French tuck, not into the pants, but into my bra. And I think it looks good. And then I left it open on the back like that. And I must get groceries. We're at Trader Joe's. Never been here before. I've never been to Trader Joe's before. So I was like, okay, I'll go. And oh my gosh, it was so crazy. When I went in, I was just like kind of mesmerized by all the options and also with how busy it was in there. Cause I went at kind of a weird time. I didn't expect it to be so busy. And then I started to notice that everything in there is from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. How do they do that, honestly? How do they do it? How do they do that? They make everything. How do they do it? To the point where there was something that looked just like Fruit Loops, but it was called something else and it had Trader Joe's on it. It was so interesting. And I got lots of cool stuff. I got this like ravioli in the shape of a heart because Valentine's Day was coming up. It was honestly really fun, but it was very overstimulating. My one critique on these pants was they were hugging my butt like a little too much. You know when pants are just getting staticky and they kind of stick. They were doing that to my butt. I just didn't really want that. I still like these pants because at the end of the day they were really comfortable. Right now you're seeing the behind the scenes of my make do filming space. I'm in my final TikTok shop outfit. Today is a very special day because I'm taking the lifestyle photos for the Mia Maples Market launch. We just drove like across the city to get a blue sky photo of this shirt which says I love mom. By the time this video is posted, this will have already been up but I'm so excited because these are made from 100% recycled cotton and they are made in the US. And the scrunchies are made from fabric scrap and they're made in Canada. And we've got the Mama Maple sticker, which I'm so excited about. And the first time ever, we're doing a planner. As you can tell, this video is sponsored by me and my small business. And I get a lot of questions about the Mia Maples Market, about how involved I am, and literally, I could not be more involved. <laughs> People think it's a big company. It's not, it's me, my family, and two of my friends. But yeah, so I have to set up, I'm gonna use this white backdrop. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs> Okay, surprise. <gasps> okay, great. Those are cute. <laughs> She's playing. She's just playing. Nice. Ooh. And that's on innovation. Watch this, mom. <sighs> I learned this online. This is how you destroy a rose in the name of design. Nice. Yeah. It does feel weird to be doing this in a skirt. Usually I'm doing this in a sweatpants yeah. set, but it's fine. Oh, heck yeah. That looks good, doesn't it? That looks really good. That's looking so cute. This black skirt fabric wise was super comfortable and the fit was decent. The only problem is sometimes I find with clothes that are designed maybe without being trialed is they are hard to walk in. So this skirt was a full straight skirt and it didn't have a slit. So when you'd walk, your legs had a limited amount of room to walk. You know, a little slit would have helped to be able to that's just something I noticed. As far as the fabric was concerned, it was nice though. I don't feel like these two pieces would last a super long time in your closet, honestly, because the quality isn't amazing. But I thought they looked cute and I felt dressed up for doing this photo shoot. And yeah, that's what I wore this outfit for. And with that, that has been an entire week of wearing outfits from the TikTok shop feature. I think a lot of them honestly weren't worth the money, even with an affordable price tag. I just feel like they're not gonna last that well. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful. If you've been curious about the TikTok shop feature, if you're curious about any other details about it, make sure to let me know down below because we can always do more videos and be more in depth, whatever you would like. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!